What's up, weirdo? Shade Tree Surgeon here, and there's a smell in the air. Can you smell it? It's smelling good, baby. You know what today is? Today's new motorcycle day. Uh, maybe not this motorcycle. That's the same old motorcycle, but we're about to head up to Bird's Barracuda because somebody's getting a new motorcycle. Hmm, Shade Tree Army East Coast Tour coming this summer. That looks like the perfect mobile home for me to do it from. All right, as I said, heading up to see the boys at Bird's Barracuda over here in St. Pete. And, you know, we like hanging out at Black Widow too, but Barracuda's right down the street from us, all right? I know some people are at their party. It's Saturday night, even, well, Saturday afternoon, anyway <laughs> well at more like 12 30 more like saturday morning for me considering the night i had last night anyway they saturday they've always got something going on at barracuda so even if it wasn't new bike day man there's probably a party happening up there stands the reason burt king himself is probably standing there with a the beer in the hand painted toenails and cowboy hat. I know my man, Mr. T's rolling around there somewhere just being absolutely ridiculous, which is what we love, baby. So even if we, if even if it wasn't new bike day, even if that smell wasn't in the air, man, we always have a good time at Barracuda, so why the hell not? Man, it's just a beautiful ride over the bridge. I'm just gonna go ahead and enjoy the hell out of these 75 degree Florida days while they're still happening because they're, they're getting rarer and rarer. Their days are numbered as we roll into summer. And uh, you know what? A couple of hundred degree days during July, I keep all the Yankees home, so I don't mind that. Love all my Northern friends, by the way. Love y'all, but man, traffic gets real bad down here this time of year. And I, I'm looking for forward to it easing up but i am gonna miss these days because listen up baby these 75 degree days these couple of months that are like this that's the most beautiful time you could imagine in florida when you have a motorcycle that flag is unmistakable gotta be the biggest one in florida if not the southeast i'll tell you what even rolling up here to burt's barracuda on this you know 30 plus year old freaking junk pile. <laughs> it's just this, this garbage barge, the gold wing, the mail order glide, the incredible bulk, maybe the Bangkok bagger, the green gold wing of love. And it could use some love. Even pulling up to Burt's Barracuda on this $1,500 rattle trap Honda, I get treated and anyone would get treated with the same amount of respect when you walk into that showroom as if you pulled up on a brand new 2022 CBO. Burt's just don't care, man. They're freaking amazing people and they don't give a damn what you ride on. And I have that from Burt himself. I can't tell you how many times he's told me he don't care what you're riding as long as you got your knees in the breeze baby and coming from a dude who owns a harley davidson dealership let me tell you i wish it was like that everywhere but sometimes that attitude is pretty rare <laughs> and speaking of it's mr Costome himself alex the diplomat baby and don't tell me it's already all over it's already done it's already a done deal oh you're just starting i was like <laughs> <laughs> I saw you put your helmets down next to a bike. I was like, oh, no. What's up, baby? Come here. All right. Oh, did I just hit you with that? I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right. If you couldn't tell, new bike day, <laughs> the honor belongs to the diplomat. So let's go figure that out. Right, up here at Bert's, man, Mr. Costome himself, the diplomat up here. And of course, the one, the only, the black, big and beautiful baby. Oh, man, I feel prettier just standing next to you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just go, T.A., man. They're about to take Alex on a test ride. I said, T, set me up, dude. And this, this dude looks at me and goes, I got just the thing for you. Hell yeah. <laughs> this dude's got my number, all right? He go, all these black bikes, all these beautiful bikes, all these fast bikes. He goes, listen up, Shade Tree. I want you to come over and look at this thing. And I was like, look, all right, baby. All right, baby. You got me with this. Old fat boy with custom paint done to it, man. Dude, like let me man. tell you, man. I know some people are all about that CVO custom paint. But when it comes to me, if you're putting skulls and tassels on the side of your motorcycle, I'm all about that, man. And let me tell you, as we've said with all of our, you know, Terminator 2 stuff, I I absolutely love a fat boy. Terminator 2 is one of the one of the movies that got me into riding motorcycles in the first place. And it's a CVO, which they only made for two years. And Dragons, Crystal Balls, Skulls. Dude, this has got my name written all over it, alright? This is the Swamp Wizard special right here. Thank you, man. <laughs> 
out of everyone in here, man. Out of everyone in here. I'm like, that's the one, all right? Woo, come on. about that road glide baby oh. but come on dude <laughs> that's a cool bike but I, I hate to come out here and show you up with the swamp wizard special <laughs> you better be buying this damn thing man. you're gonna dude, be talking about it like that dude i'm telling you man purple bikes are one of my favorites man i know that alex loves them too all right <laughs> dude it's got dragons and crystal ball all right man all right let me grab my helmet right. believe it or not this is actually my very first time riding a cvo although i guess it is believable cvos ain't exactly the most common bike around especially fat boy cvos they only made these things for a couple years so even i know some people are like oh it doesn't have the cvo paint first off it's got dragons skulls wizards and crystal balls on it you gotta chill with your cvo paint this thing is freaking sick <sighs> <laughs> this bike has got my name written all over it, baby. This thing, man. <laughs> this thing. All right. I, I hate to do it, man. But come on, dude. Look at this thing. <laughs> That's it right there. <laughs> you know what? That banana yellow R6. I'm sure there's going to be some people who miss it, but man, we like to go far. With some of the trips that we got coming up, some of the some of the custom-made trips me and Alice got planned, He's gonna need a road glide. Woo! Dude, she goes, baby, she goes. I wonder what this guy has done to it, if there's a cam in it or something. I don't know if the CBOs actually came with anything special, but this thing feels rowdy. Nothing like that twin cam love. Dude, I love a Milwaukee 8, and I love my Evos. There's no better sounding motorcycle than a twin cam. It is the best sounding exhaust note that Harley Davidson has ever produced, in my opinion. This thing is all right. <laughs> as I said, just in my opinion, but as they always say, oh yeah, opinions are like assholes, and I'm an asshole. I think I might actually like the way the soft tail fat boy, well, I guess they're both soft tail fat boys. I think I might like the way the twin cam fat boy rides just a little bit better than the Milwaukee 8 one. It just feels so traditional. This thing has got to have a cam in it or something, man. That just rips too hard. The chrome, baby, the chrome. And it's the Shade Tree Special. They got the do not twist on the left-hand gas cap for me. <laughs> That's a, they put that warning there just for me. All right, man, you look good on it. <laughs> Alex, Alex is sitting right at about, you're 6'4"? Alexson, right at 6'4", man. I think that fits him just fine. I mean, he looked a, he looked a little cramped up, a little shoved into a box on that R6, but he looks right at home on that bike. <laughs> Whoa, baby. <laughs> Testing out that rear suspension, all right. I love it. Poor Foxglove back there has probably got her heart in her stomach right now, but I'm sure Alex's face is fit to split. Oh yeah, rear suspension works. <laughs> the problems of only weighing like a hundred pounds, okay? <laughs> I mean, it's a good test ride. Should be fine. We weren't going that fast. I know who's gonna love this bike, even though his fat boy is just freaking absolutely gorgeous. On par with this, if not better. But Journey of Jerry, <laughs> with this paint job, he's gonna be all over this bike. <laughs> that exhaust just sounds right, baby. Like I said, nothing. I'm, a, I'm an Evo for life, dude. Evo till I die. Evo's forever. But man, the exhaust note on a twin cam. <laughs> it's the it's the best they ever done. The twin cam was when, you know, they had all those people saying, oh, Harley Davidson, can you believe they how much research and development they put into making sure their engine sounded right. There was like, you know, whatever the 90s equivalent of memes were making fun of them and being like, oh, all this R&D into making sure the exhaust sounds right. Well, guess what, dude? The twin cam's the best sounding exhaust they've ever made. Like, it worked. Man, you freaking roll through a parking lot on this thing with this paint job. You're gonna be breaking every neck in there. I really like this motorcycle. 
I'm not in the market for a motorcycle right now, and I know that every time I get on a bike, I'm just like, oh my God, I like bike, but it's so shiny. It's my, my inner magpie just loves looking at all this chrome in front of me, like this giant field of beautiful chrome stretched out before me, reflecting the sky and the highway. I mean, you black out things all you want. In my mind, Harley Davidsons are supposed to be shiny. So he's already, already got the jams going. <laughs> That's a, we already got the jams rolling. That's a done deal, baby, all right? <laughs> oh, that sounds good. All right. That was very fun and very cool. And I like this shiny purple bike covered in skull wizards, dragons, and crystal balls a lot. Now, let me get off this thing before I become a, uh, a little too tempted and asking questions that I'm not sure I want to know the answer to. <laughs> that one even for Alex. He's still figuring stuff. He's still figuring stuff out. That's for uh, that's for the bike. Almost no one can get that Sportster S baby going out the door. All right, all that beeping inside. My man here goes. I just came in for a seat, dude. Dude, that's the bike no one can have right now. So I don't blame you. <laughs> you see one of them on the floor. You better get it. Tell them the truth. What else? Ha what else happened? How did your morning start this morning? <laughs> Tell them the truth. What happened? I came here because Mr. T. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's that black magic, baby. You can't resist. Last time we come up here, old Casey was uh, <laughs> she, uh, two legged. She, yeah, she was two legged, and she was serving us beers in the in the uh, in OCC over there. And I was like, man, you guys need to come up here and tip this girl because she rides out with us. She's wild as hell. We love her. She's hooking up to the shame, hanging out, partying all the time. Well, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, trust me, she was up at the shame shotgun and white claws the other day, but. Oh, yeah. You know, you'll be back partying again. I will be back. Soon. What was the verdict on the leg? Um, a broken ankle, and I have an infection now in the ankle because I tore away so much skin. So... Aye. Ouch. We're I'm so better. sorry, We're Casey. Better. We'll be back in a couple weeks. Good as new. Ready to ride. My bike's here at Bird's being fixed, and it should be ready in, I'd say, two to three weeks. So before you. Before me. It'll be ready before me. We'll get you a hand shifter set up. I think you'll be yeah, fine. Yeah, I'm going to need something. Right. Oh, wait. No, no. It's your, it's your right foot. You'll be fine. Yeah. No. <laughs> You're fine. I don't need my foot break. You're, You're fine. Break it all the hey, way. listen up. We're good. Real fine, all right? <laughs> Make sure you follow Casey on Instagram. I'll have the links all down below. And uh, wish her a speedy recovery. Because uh, let me tell you what, me and Emily not not, not not cute over here. I'll be very gentle. <laughs> I'm fragile. I'm so fragile. <laughs> Both mentally and physically. Oh. Me too, baby, oh. all right? <laughs> anyway, uh, me and Casey are going to be doing some real fun stuff real soon. Shotgun so. real soon, too. <laughs> Make sure you go follow her on Instagram. Tell her old shade tree surgeon sent you. And uh, heal up soon, all right? All right, baby. Dang, there she goes. Insurance is putting her through the ringer. Uh, $15,000 in medical bills. That's a rough one. <laughs> All right, girl. All right, Mr. Costome himself, let me tell you. I didn't even get to get a good look at this thing, but uh, it's in the family now, baby. Once he was blasting them tunes, let me tell you what, it's a done deal. And I was well worried. I was like, man, I ain't got a fast bike to ride with you today, man. And Alex goes, listen up, baby. I got my chain on. I got my shades on. Dude, we cruising today. So this bike already looks different. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this already looks different. I'm like, what's different? He goes, oh my God, there's a different seat on it, man. That looks just like one of them CVO seats. There's a different windshield on this thing. This thing is already set up. And I go, dude, damn, man, you already spent money on this thing? And Alex goes like, listen up, man. I already changed like four things on this bike and it costs less than $200. That's the Costome way. So if you want to you wanna know how he made it look like that for a couple hundred bucks, you're going to have to go to his channel because I don't even know yet. I'll tell you guys right now, man. If there's anybody who knows how to get a deal it's this dude right here man and everything he's just described to me that he's already done to this bike i'm like all right dude can you freaking teach me <laughs>
<laughs> Show me the ways, dude. Because <laughs> somehow I've got more money and freaking accessories on my freaking $1,500 gold wing than he does on his road glide right now. And you tell me which one looks better. The last time I was riding with Diplomat over there on this, uh, on his road glide, I think I might have at least, if, even if I didn't have him beat, we were neck and neck, man. Now that I'm back to the old mail order glide, Mr. Costome has me beat. Dr. Costome. We're all doctors around here, baby. No motorcycle is truly part of the Brat Star crew until it's been anointed in the disgusting, vile waters of the stab and grab. It must be baptized in the blood of the unclean. The foul, murky waters of the 87 octane must flow through its veins in order to truly truly pass the test. What is dead may never die. We must drown the road glide. Drown it in the waters of the stab and grab. <laughs> it's the way, dude. It's the, it's the way. Immerse yourself in the scum. Come on, you ready? There. Oh, it's fine. I use, I drink it all the time. Hey, how's it going? It's going. How you doing? You know what? It's a beautiful day. I'm feeling pretty damn good today. I'm not going to lie to you. Dude, I'm glad you care. Some people only have those cut up ones. I'm like, I look like a baby to you. I don't want to cut up. <laughs> Are they good? Oh, my <laughs> all right, all right. I'll give them a whirl. You know what though? They don't got the they don't got the freaking sexy pickle on it though, man. It means something, you know. <laughs> you know, you eat with your eyes first. Gas fight. No, okay. Sexy, sexy Alex. It's like he's wearing nothing at all. All right. I don't know if it's going to be as fast or be as cool if it hasn't been uh, drowned in the vile waters of the stab and grab, but you know, you do your thing, bud. You do your thing, all right? Well, that silver wing might look very familiar, but that done up Dyna switchback, that's new. <laughs> More on that in a second. That is John's bike, and I've been getting John's story. John is from Tennessee. This is his switchback over here. He's got an Instagram. I'll have it linked down below. He painted this bike, so this is your first paint job? Yeah. Yeah, that was my first paint job. Uh, Dude, house get of out of here. But it's sprayed through Harbor Freight guns. Through Harbor Freight guns on lace, dude. Come on, man, get out of here. Stop making me look bad, dude. And by the way, who does a switch back up? Nobody, that's who. We got freaking art. Oh, dude, I love Russ Warnemont, man. Is that a Russ Warnemont fairing, too? Dude, he's a fucking good dude, man. He uh, gifted us the fairing for the giveaway. Oh, no doubt. Yep. Nice. Yep, R Russ Warnemont is the freaking man has helped out Forgotten Angels quite a deal. They make a great product, and they're just good people, which means, to me, being a good person means just as much as a good product. Let me tell you what, dude. Nobody wants a switch back. This is the one Dyna nobody wanted until somebody does one up and then you ain't gonna be able to find them dude this is a good good looking bike and as cool as this bike is that's not why we're here <laughs> we're here because of this malaise era brown turd over here third ferguson that's turd ferguson over here this is third ferguson and this is Alyssa. <laughs> hi Alyssa. Uh, they just rode down here doubled up she rode bitch on the freaking switchback all the way down from tennessee straight to pick up this bike that she won in a raffle yes they're real <laughs> so I always wonder people were like, man, you made all that money for Forgotten Angels. Like, where does it go? Do the bikes actually go to people? Yes, they're here. We're about to party. Because that was part of, the, not the deal, I would have partied anyway. It don't take much to get me to party. I like it's part of the deal. Like, oh, and as part of the giveaway deal, if you buy a raffle ticket and you win, I'll party with you. Oh, no. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, it is a 40-year-old bike, so fingers crossed. <laughs> the gypsy curse is once again passed on. That ain't my problem anymore. Alyssa, of course we love Monsi. She just hands this to me and goes, do you have a trash can? I go, do I Do I have a trash can? Yeah, I got a trash can. Just put it in there with the other one. <laughs> <laughs> we got two crappy Hondas and two nice Harleys. Mr. Costome over here, dude, he's already got some stuff done. But then John comes up here on his freaking paneled switch bag. It's like, damn, dude, all right? Save some for the rest of us. That's right, you ain't the only one with tunes, baby. <laughs> I'm a little bit country, he's a little bit rock and roll. <laughs> I don't know if I want to say I keep getting lucky that all the people who win the bikes end up being totally awesome. And we got Lost on the Road 21, we got Strong Like Troll, we got Kimberly, of course. Like, 
Everybody that I've met who's won a motorcycle so far has been absolutely freaking amazing and awesome and kindred spirits and kind people and just like supportive of the cause of Forgotten Angels and fun to party with. I'm like, God damn, dude, I'm going to get unlucky. Someone's going to win once an asshole. But the people who are buying raffle tickets to support Forgotten Angels, because 100% of all this goes to charity, the people who are buying raffle tickets are people who watch the channel. They're people who believe in the, in the cause, who believe in Forgotten Angels, because it's not like we're putting this shit on the news. We're not doing it for profit. So you know what i say i'm lucky but i think what's really happening is we're we're hedging our bets by surrounding ourselves with the right kind of people all right when you got a bunch of bikers who want to do something good for the world when you got bad people who want to do good things chaotic good baby your chances of finding a good person in that group are pretty high all right Alyssa's first time going over a bridge on that little silver wing we got her turning about 80 mile an hour right now so <laughs> she's gonna know exactly what that little thing feels like turning about 8500 rpm for 10 hours back to tennessee Alyssa and john were telling me they they got a youtube channel as well i have all that linked down below and of course on their instagrams but just like they did that dyna switch back up themselves literally in their kitchen they got big plans for the silver wing too and i'm excited to see what they come up with i just freaking noticed dude all four of these motorcycles all got four very different front fairings like gl 1500 baby this is a uh, this is pretty wild oh i don't know if it's wild we're all like rolling out dad style here except for except for john on the switchback that thing's pretty hot but i don't know how it's, it's crazy but it's neat to me. All right, Bert's Barracuda. Of course, John and Alyssa want to see Barracuda Man in the OCC Roadhouse. And you know what? Bert and the whole bike that came down here, let me tell you what, man, that's the whole reason all this stuff is happening. So, of course, we got to come up here. And of course, it's Saturday night, baby. Look at this place. They got it going on today. Damn, dude. They really got a party going on today. I love it. Oh, no. Talk about perfect timing, man. I knew there'd be another gold wing here. This freaking gray right here. Oh, of course, I love that gray. That's exactly <laughs> the Burt's giveaway bike, the Burt's Barracuda freaking Lowrider S. It's pretty much the same color that we painted it. That's what I love about Burt's Barracuda, dude. You know, of course, there's a bunch of Harleys, but you find just about everything in the parking lot up here. This old school Honda, this has got to be either a 1,000 or 1,100. It might even be a 70s gold wing because back in the day, Honda didn't make the bags. Vetter did, so it's a wind jammer and better bags like this is the one i have on my fxr i'd love to find some better side bags these things are so freaking slick oh my god my hero i gotta meet whoever's bike this is because i love it all the bikes in the parking lot this is the one baby the heritage the heritage with the tie-dye unicorn this is it dude if you're watching this video right now freaking speak up i love this this is a new bike this has got a milwaukee ace Someone got a brand new bike and they did this to it. I freaking love you. Like I was saying earlier, just like all these different fairings lined up on these different bikes. It's just like, dude, how many different years of fairings? That's freaking wild, man. And what's funny is a lot the, this this fairing right here was inspired by the Windjammer, which is what this which this is actually a Honda line, which is a ripoff of the better Windjammer. But the Windjammer inspired this with these wings like that for the Honda line fairing, which inspired the, the FXR fairing with the same wings, which inspired this fairing. <laughs> you know, it's just like just seeing the freaking evolution here is so cool. So we gotta do one thing for the yeah, we all gotta grab them out at the same time so it looks cool, all right? Okay. Then we'll put some cool music to it, all right? Is everybody ready? <laughs> and then I'll put cool music to it. Editor's note. Oh, we come through for Oh, we always wanna hang out, man. All right, well, here's the, here's the rest of the story. We were up here earlier with Mr. T, and as always, <laughs> he's, oh, God, dude, you're about to make me blush with those things, right? <laughs> My anaconda don't want none, but listen, all the ana anacondas, <laughs> dude, they're in the fucking arms right hey, there, man. all right, baby? They got enough women problems, man. <laughs> Baby. Oh, baby. You don't need more. Why'd you walk out the door looking like that? He's asking Damn. for it. <laughs> so Mr. T's our guy, man. Always come see him when you're up here buying a bike at Birch. If you're going to buy one, you can buy it from out of state. People fly in, buy a bike, and ride home all the time because it's worth it to come out here and party for a couple days. My man here will take care of you. You guys brought the sun with you from Tennessee, baby. You're getting the full Florida experience, swamp ass, and everything today. Good times always over here at Birch. 
Burnt's twice in one video. <laughs> Not bad. Wants to buy a bike and wants to party. Beefy boys out on the prowl having fun. And normally we'd be following them back to Tampa, but it's Skyway time. We're gonna go to River's Edge, man. That used to be my old stomping grounds. I haven't been there in forever. Oh God, this is, this piece of road is so freaking bad. And we might be giving uh, Alyssa and John really the whole Florida experience because we might be taking them to one of them bullseye rain spots up here. You know, they say it uh, rains on the just and the unjust alike, but looking at this blue sky all around us, looks like it's gonna be raining on just us. <sighs> what a gorgeous scene though. I'm glad these guys are getting the whole Florida experience, even if it means a little bit of rain on the Sunshine Skyway. A pontoon boat. The gold wings of the ocean. That looks like we're riding into Mordor over here. Nice. Ah, we might fly, uh, no, we're getting rained on. I was about to say, maybe we might be able to jet over the Sunset Iron Skyway and head back down north down 41, but I think we're getting wet. All right, John and Alyssa, make sure you smile. You're getting your Florida postcard mailed to you. The Shade Tree Surgeon Special. <laughs> your dollar fifty toll coming in the mail to Tennessee. All right, let's see if I can pull up my weather app, see if we can dodge these raindrops or not. Well, every time you come into Sunshine Skyway, it just looks like a like a roller coaster ride up there. Just this monolith in the distance. I love it. And a lot of people here in Tampa are just terrified to ride over the Sunshine Skyway. But you know, Alyssa didn't know what she was getting into, so. She could, She didn't even know if she should have said no or not. And, but obviously, it's fine. It's just a bridge. It just freaks some people out on motorcycles, you know? Oh, look at that. Dude, right over Bradenton. We're about to get butt fucked right now. Might be able to squeeze past it back towards Tampa on 41. Always so freaking cool to ride over the Skyway. Even if we all oh, look, they're painting it. <laughs> oh, that's cool, man. Maybe it doesn't look the coolest on camera because it's not all like, you know, pristine, but I like seeing them paint it, man. That's kind of cool. No, I don't think we're going to make it. Oh, no. Look, there it is. Riding right into it. Sorry, guys. Oh, I love it. This rain, these blue waters, green waters, however it's showing up on here. Looks just like a freaking movie set. It's gorgeous. All right, let's see if I can get through this without smoking another GoPro. Win a motorcycle. Come down, ride with Shade Tree Army and the Brapstar crew. <laughs> It'll be fun. All we do is get rained on, go over sketchy bridges, bridges in high wind, and get tolls by mail. What a blast. If my GoPro's still alive, it might not be. It looks like we're coming out on the other side of it here. It wasn't that bad, but... I don't know what they're used to back there. And of course, Alyssa's got that big windshield right up in front of her. And having a windshield that goes over your head is really, really nice when it's not raining or if it is raining, you have windshield wipers and it don't. All right, hang in there with us. You can do it. We're almost on the other side. Oh, thunderbolts and lightning. Very, very frightening. It's like we're in a meatloaf song right now. I love it. Come on, like a bat out of hell. We got this. We got this. Couple old crap behind us. Not a problem, baby. Not a problem. Oh, looks like we're going to turn back north to Tampa right in front of this other cell. Dodging the raindrops. We got a little bit, but we ain't getting saturated. Not a bad day. We got just a little bit over the skyway, and it looks like we're about to thread the needle. <laughs> thread the needle on 75 north back to Tampa in between these two cells, man. That's how it goes in Florida. Sometimes you just got to dodge the raindrops. Woo! It looks like there's another one up there, though. We ain't, we ain't done playing sharks and minnows yet, all right? Even living in Florida, I will tell you, it never gets, like, not annoying to be staring at blue skies all around you and have a rain cloud directly over your head raining on you. <laughs> you think I'd be used to it after 38 years, but it's still annoying. And just like that, literally the roads are dry. <laughs> we just went from a rain cloud raining directly on us to literally the asphalt that we're riding over right now is completely dry like it never rained 500 yards ahead of that florida is hilarious all right normally if i was going over the skyway coming to river's edge from st pete i would have taken 41 because it's a way prettier ride but with uh, when you're dodging the raindrops you just want to get it over with the one the only guarded by a trailer park the original biker bar here in florida river's edge baby God, I love this place. It's gone through a couple iterations since we've been going here. They really fixed it up, but 
is still a uh, is still a little dicey, which we like. One motorcycle? Everyone got scared. Everyone went home. A little bit of rain. We got one bike out here. Come on, man. You never know who you're gonna run into, and uh, of course, <laughs> delicious, baby. <laughs> um, I find uh, I found a really nice picnic table right next to the shitters. If you always want to get out of the rain. Shitters, you say. You don't? You don't do snot from a rock? No, like, Dude, they give you a boner. Uh, I'm, I'm afraid of that. <laughs> Alright, baby. Snot from a rock. I don't know who I'm trying to impress with this aphrodisiac, but you know, I'm gonna eat a bunch of these I'm gonna eat a bunch of these oysters, light a couple candles, and have a nice uh, menage a moi later. <laughs> Eat the shell. Eat the shell. Yeah, just swallow it. It passes. No. Every once in a while, you flip one of these guys over. There's a little crab underneath it. That's a little special treat. Yeah. But no, you eat it. It's so alive usually. That's good luck. You guys never got a crab? A little on pearl, pearl crab. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta eat it. <laughs> Hanging out here at River's Edge, we had some snot from a rock. Uh, I had a whole one to myself, man. Who doesn't love eating a dozen oysters? Kyle, actually. I, I don't like it because he hates boners. Loser. Anyway, Mr. Costome himself, the diplomat, is heading home. You know why? Because it's, it's a mob party. How wholesome, dude. That is like the most wholesome thing I've ever heard yet. Got to go home and get ready for this surprise party? Yeah. yeah. Hey, less, ho less wholesome with the eyebrows. Put more jeans on. Oh, is that a club? <laughs> dude, Alex's a whole family. Dude, I met his sisters once, and I was just like... <laughs> I was like, dude, I ain't freaking, I ain't messing around with this, all right? His sisters rolled to the bar, I was like, they got knives, all right? What <laughs> do you mean his, uh, his sisters or his sisters? His sisters? Uh, his sisters. <laughs> you wonder how Alex had to be so nice to the ladies. Let me tell you, it's not a secret to me. I love my ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Teamwork makes a dream work. Okay, head from River's Edge out to Valrico to the Forgotten Angels property. That's where Alyssa and John are going to be staying tonight. And I just think it's so freaking cool, man. Because when I was talking to Alyssa, I, I, I just kind of said, Hey, you know, I can't guarantee this bike. It's a Me and Shelby went through it. We put new suspension on it. We fixed it up. We did an oil change, a tune-up, spark plug. Like We did the whole thing and we checked it out. New tires. But uh, here's the thing. It's still a 40 plus year old motorcycle. I can't guarantee this bike. You might get 10 miles out side of Tampa and it could just absolutely hand grenade you just don't know and and Alyssa and John her husband looked at me and said we don't even care like we literally don't care we're on an adventure right now this is a reason for us to go on an adventure together and come to Tampa on an adventure to pick up a bike and go on a sketchy hunt adventures back to Tennessee on it and on top of all of that the whole reason that we're doing that is because we're helping out the young men at Forgotten Angels as I said earlier in the video I just keep waiting for somebody who wins something or does something like this to be an asshole, and it hasn't happened yet because they're all in. They go like, yeah, you know, we bought the ticket. We didn't buy the tickets to win anything. We bought the tickets because we wanted to help the cause, because we wanted to help Forgotten Angels. And if the bike blows up right now on the way to Forgotten Angels, we don't care. We're still happy. Well, it's the next day and I'm feeling just a little bit fuzzy because the video ended there. I ended up leaving my motorcycle at Forgotten Angels. Dave and Cindy drove me, Alyssa and John down to Ybor City and from there, uh, things get a bit murky. But I've got all my fingers, all my toes, so it uh, must not have been that bad. And even though things got fuzzy, I always wake up feeling pretty good and let me tell you what, <laughs> All will come to light later, but uh, I got quite a few reasons to feel real, real good right now. That's going to about do it for this video, guys. We got a lot of cool stuff coming up. We have Shay Lisi's live stream tonight. We have The Diplomat. <laughs> the Diplomat's video is coming out directly after this one, so you'll be able to go hop on his premiere. Hopefully coming up, I think uh, I'm filming this at 9.25. My video is supposed to be out at 10.30, and Alex is still editing his video, too. That's kind of how we do it around here. We're on the edge, baby. If you, if you ain't living on the edge, if you ain't right up against it, if you ain't five minutes 
this late, you ain't gonna fit in around here. Diplomat video up next, Shay Lisi live stream tonight and a special live stream on my channel tomorrow featuring Natalie Cuomo. If you didn't know, Natalie Cuomo is a comedian. She's coming to Tampa. Uh, she rides as well. Super cool chick, streams on Twitch. We're gonna be doing a live stream with her on Monday. Awesome people. Uh, we're building a whole weekend uh, <laughs> here at the end of the month. We're gonna have Natalie Cuomo May 21st, that's Saturday. On Sunday, we're gonna have Rats and Rats Market the 22nd at the Dirty Shame. We got a bunch of people coming in town. We got a special guest. We're giving away another motorcycle, so uh, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna give away another motorcycle. I'm not gonna reveal what it is yet, but why don't you go ahead and stay tuned? Make sure you tune into the Chalice's live stream tonight. We'll be talking a little bit more about that. I appreciate you guys tuning in as always. You guys make Wednesdays and Sundays and pretty much the rest of the week really really fun. I say it all the time. I'm incredibly lucky, incredibly fortunate. I just like, I walk across this earth just reaping the rewards that I don't deserve. And I'm so lucky that I've got an audience like you guys that go out into the world and be chaotic good. You guys do good things. We do good things together. We are bad people, but we're doing good things, baby. And it feels real real good. I'm excited for you guys to meet some people who are coming on to Shade Tree Army here pretty soon that you haven't been on the videos yet, but we got a lot of, a lot of very, very, very cool stuff planned. So tune in tonight, tune in tomorrow, make sure you subscribe to The Diplomat. Until next time, y'all, keep it weird. Sunshine,